Hello everyone. Welcome to another useful 5-minute learning session. Are you experiencing issues with your current Paradox Babyware software, unable to connect to any remote site? You might be using an older version of Babyware with existing sites that you can't afford to lose. In this video, we will learn how to properly install the new Paradox Babyware software, version May 6, 63. Back up your database from the older Babyware version. Restore the backup to the new version. This video is also helpful for beginners who are new to the Paradox brand and want to learn how to run Babyware software and connect their panel for programming. If you find value in this video, please don't hesitate to like and subscribe to our channel. We have many other videos covering different security products whether you're just starting in this field or an advanced professional. Now, let's get started. Step 1, Download the Babyware Setup File. Download the Babyware version v5.6.63 PC software from www.paradox.com. Step 2, Create an account backup file from the older Babyware software. Before installing the new software, we must back up our database from the old Babyware version. Open your old Babyware software as usual. In my case, I have version v5.6.28 installed on my PC. Click on the Accounts tab then click on File then click on Backup tab. This will open the backup wizard. Click Select All, or manually select your sites if needed. If you have multiple sites, select all to avoid losing any data. Under Programming Options, leave everything as default. Important, do not create a password in the Password tab this may prevent restoring the database into the new Babyware version. Choose a backup destination path for reference. Click Backup. Now, our backup is complete, and we can close the old Babyware software. Step 3, Properly install the new Babyware software. Run the setup file for Paradox Babyware version v5.6.63. Select your preferred language and click OK. Click Next to continue with the setup. Accept the license agreement by clicking I agree. Click Next again on the Hardware Requirements tab. On the Installation Location tab. If you already have an older Babyware version on this PC, change the destination folder to My Documents. If this is the only Babyware version on your PC, you don't need to change the destination path. Click Next, then click Next again to create a desktop shortcut. Select Database Type Simply select Option for Standalone, then click Install. The software will now install on your PC and create a desktop shortcut. Step 4, Restore your backup file to the new Babyware software. Open the newly installed Babyware software. Log in with the default password. When prompted, set a new password, confirm it, and click Save. Now, the new software is open, but you won't see your older sites yet. To restore your backup file. Click File then click on Restore. In the Restore window, select the backup file we created earlier. Important, do not enter any password in the Password tab. Click Restore. Once the process is complete, all previously saved sites will now appear in the new software. Step 5, Test the connection to your sites. Now, Let's check if we can connect to our old sites again. As you can see, we can connect without any errors, meaning we have successfully migrated all sites. We truly appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below, and we'll try our best to respond as soon as possible. Have a great day. Rigid Security NZ Team